Our area is preparing for the remnants of Ian. Revolution Mill in Greensboro is right on Buffalo Creek. It sees lots of flooding when strong storms come through. The complex installed flood panels and had residents move their cars to higher ground just in case. Governor Roy Cooper issued a state of emergency for North Carolina this afternoon. Different areas could see different effects. WFMY News 2's Grace Holland found out how our state is preparing and looking to help others. That state of emergency declaration is all about preparedness. It will allow our state to get federal help if we need it. It protects against price gouging of fuel and supplies. It waives size and weight requirements for relief vehicles. And it also allows farmers to transport livestock and crops without weighing. Those last two make it faster to move supplies quickly. State leaders recommend having a hurricane supply kit and making an, a family emergency plan. If you did need to evacuate, um, know where you would go. We recommend um, first to stay with family or friends or at a hotel if you need to evacuate um, and to leave shelters sort of as a, as a place of last resort for those that have nowhere else to go. DOT workers across the state are preparing gear like chainsaws, backhoes. A spokesperson says it'll put our state in a good position to respond to whatever comes our way. Hope to do some preventative work out there that um, can maybe keep our drain inlets and that kind of thing flowing, free flowing culverts um, to get, keep water off of roadways where it might otherwise have collected if it's, if it's clogged up. About a thousand state DOT workers are also on standby. The big advice is to stay off the road during the storm and never drive or walk through standing water. There is a lot of help from our state headed down to Florida. Part of that, more than a thousand blood donations from the Blood Connection. But with it off the shelves here, the group is asking for more donations to replenish supplies to our hospitals. You're going to see heavy winds and a lot of rain. So we're seeing our hospitals reach out ahead of time and hoping to stock up ahead of this weekend. They say donating before the storm gets here could save a lot of lives along Ian's path.